Hey, what's up? Siphon here. So once the first crossed into 2024 with no clue of the phones that were released in 2023. I mean, I'm talking of the best phones of 2023. So in this video, I'll be dividing it, you know, in order. I'll be talking about the most affordable phones of 2023, the best design phones in terms of the flip phone and the foldable phones, then finally the best phones of 2023. So be sure to watch this video to the end so that you know you are not left out on some of the best phones that came out. Yeah. So first off, let's talk about some of the most affordable phones of 2023. So this list wouldn't be possible if an ITEL phone wasn't part. So first off, we have the ITEL A70 ML. This was one of the most affordable, best budget phones of 2023 with a price, you know, in the range of $60 and $70, you could book this phone for yourself. Yeah. I mean, other than the fact that it looks kind of like the iPhone, I mean, it comes with some pretty cool features too. And in this, in this category, I'll be getting to the reason why some of these Android phones are looking like an iPhone 13, 14, 15 of this series. But you can see that nowadays, most of the Android phones, flagship, you know, some of these flagships that are coming out, they look kind of like iPhones and it's a good thing. So be sure to stick around because I'll be getting to that reason why most Android phones are looking kind of like iPhones. Yeah. So the Idol A70 is a pretty great phone if you want a budget phone, you don't really want to spend a lot on a smartphone and you still want that quality, I think you should go for the ITEL A70. So next on this list has to go to a Techno phone and actually most of these flagships from Techno are quite affordable and in particular it has to go to the Techno Mobile Pop 7. I mean it's, it's also really a great phone if you don't want to spend much on a smartphone but also want a really really good phone. You should go for the Techno Mobile Pop 7. I mean, it's 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 a good phone. Other than the um, ITEL E70, this phone is also quite affordable. I mean, it's I think the range is around seventy dollars. So if you want a best budget phone, yeah, I think I should call it that a best budget phone. You should go for the Techno Mobile Pop 7 because I think what you might think is affordable might not be affordable to someone. So. This should be a best budget phone, man, because some, some, some techno phones are quite expensive. Don't lie to you, so some, some techno phones, those phantom, and yeah, they are quite expensive. And last on my list for most affordable phone of 2023, definitely has to go to Infinix Smart 7 Plus. I mean, this phone isn't really that affordable. I mean, uh, if you look at the price, for someone, it might not be affordable, but with the things you're getting from this phone, I mean, it comes with some pretty cool features as well. Because, as you know, if you are really an Android user, you should know. I mean, people, people say the Infinix doesn't do well in terms of their smartphone world. But I think my personal opinion is that some of these flagship phones that they brought out this year are really, really good. I mean, if you take the Infinix Hot 40 Pro, that phone is really, really cool. I mean, they really did a good job of making it look like an iPhone and also a very good Android. I mean, bringing these two worlds together in a phone was really, really, really good. So yeah, I mean, if you're on the side who was the best budget phone, I think you should go for the Infinix Smart 7 Plus. But if you want an affordable phone, which also is really, really good. I mean, it's not really, it's not actually that affordable. It's quite expensive. It's not, it's not really expensive. It's, the price is okay. So if you want an okay price for an Android OK price, then, then put it out. If you want an Android price that is OK, you should go for the Infinix Hot 40 Pro. I mean, in my opinion, like my opinion on this, the phone is really, I mean, I've used it before and I know what I'm talking about. The Infinix Hot 40 Pro is an actual good Android phone that looks like an iPhone. I don't know why they did, they did that, but you see, I made mention that most of these Android companies are making their phone look like an iPhone. I mean, if you're walking in town, you would see some of these Android phones having really, really big cameras looking like an iPhone. I mean, that pitch is actually good. You might think it's a bad idea because why are they trying to look like an iPhone? So listen to this case scenario. See, someone who loves the iPhone 14 Pro, I mean, the, the build design, the person loves the build design, but can't afford that phone, but also is an Android user can afford an android that looks identical to the iphone 14 pro but has android features and comes with the the features of the iphone i mean the build design because 
taking into consideration, just look at the Itel A70 and the Infinix Hot 40 Pro. You can see that they have some quite similarity with the 14 Pro Max. I mean, if you if you take it up close, you would see that they don't look the same. But from a distance, you might that is when you would see that hmm, it's a, that, that there's a similarity somewhere. Because even the dynamic island on the iPhone is kind of on this Android. Because the Infinix Hot 40 Pro has the magic bar, and it seems the Itel A70 also has a similar feature. I don't I don't really know I, I don't really know the name, but it has the similar feature of the dynamic island and even looking at the cameras on this phone the design i mean for the android ones they're really really big but looking at the design you would see that the shape the, the position of the cameras are quite the same so for most of you that don't understand why most of these android phones that, that are coming out look identical to the iphone it is because you see the iphone is one of the best selling phones the you know, best selling phones in the world and I mean, lots of people demand the food. And let's be let's be honest with ourselves. The design of the iPhone is really really cool. I mean, from the back to the front, taking taking the iPhone 14 Pro Max to the 15 series into consideration with the dynamic island, it's really really cool. So why not make an Android phone with the design of an iPhone that you guys love at an affordable price? Because I mean, there are people that love Android, right? But they also love the design of an iPhone, but they can't afford that iPhone because it's quite expensive. So on the other side of things, you can afford an Android that looks like the iPhone you love at an affordable price. Yeah. So I think that is the pitch this Android phones are trying to make to appeal to that audience. Because I think lots of people are purchasing this phone. That's why they are dominant in the town. I mean, if it's right in Ghana, you would see that this kind of phones are taking over like, like, everywhere you, you see people holding this type of phones it's because it's affordable and uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you it's it's good i mean it's it's value for money it's good because that is why i place the itel e70 and as a recommendation i mentioned the infinix hot 40 pro because the infinix hot 40 pro is not affordable it's not i mean it's quite expensive but it is a really really good android phone that looks like the iphone to me I mean, it looks like the iPhone not for bad reasons, as I explained earlier, and it's for good reasons. So with that being said, let's talk about the best design on a phone for that year. So this is where we get the flip phones and the foldable phones in this category. I think even there's a, bending, a bendable phone from Motorola in this option. So let's just go ahead and talk about this. So one of the best phones in terms of design of 2023 definitely has to go to the OnePlus Open. Yeah. And even MKBHD said that it is the best foldable phone of 2023. Her best foldable phone in 2023. Yeah, that's that's the OnePlus Open. Man, this phone is good. And I think it had something to do with the fact that when you close the phone, it really, really looks like a normal Android phone until when you open it that you would see that it's actually a foldable phone. And considering the fact that it is from OnePlus, you should know that it's a really, really good phone. I mean, most of the countries in Africa are not really used to this type of phones. I mean, how many of you have heard of OnePlus? I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I think so. if you are curious in tech, you would hear of OnePlus, but it is not a common phone in the African market. The OnePlus phones are not really common in the African market. But this video is just to enlighten you so that you know that there's actually a phone like this. So the next on this list is another phone which isn't really dominant in Africa countries as well. And it's the Google Pixel Fold. And if you are someone who loves Google Pixel or follows Google Pixel, you would see that most of their phones are incorporated with AI features. I mean, most of the phones that, most of their flagships that came out this year have AI features added to them. I mean, you have Magic Eraser, lots of this AI stuff were in the Google Pixel mode. Yeah. And another problem I have here is that Google Pixel isn't really dominant in Africa, right? I mean, how many of you watching this video have actually seen a Google Pixel before or have even heard of it before? I mean, it is not really that out there, yeah. But I don't blame people in terms of this because the phones are really, really expensive. So because they're expensive, people don't really want to bother making search on that. But you should know that these phones are some of the best phones in the world. 
So if you eventually buy it, you are getting value for your money. And you can talk of best design phones and leave out some so because this company makes some of the best design phones I've ever seen. I mean, and I'm talking of the flip phone, their flip phones and their fold phones. And to be specific, the flip five and the fold five were some of the best foldable and flippable phones of 2023. And I mean, comparing those phones to their predecessors, you could see that there, has, there have been some major changes here and there. I mean, if you take the Flip 5, for example, most changes came to that phone as compared to the Flip 4. Even though the people may think the Fold 5 looks like the Fold 4, I mean, the, the, the design and everything still looks the same. It's just that there has been a difference in the size of the phone. I mean, I think that the size of the phone has been decreased a little bit. So it looks a lot flat on the Fold 5. Yeah. And as I said, most of the people are aware of these phones but they are quite expensive i mean like let's be real the fold 5 and the flip 5 charlie they are expensive they are really really expensive yeah so you might have heard of this phone before i mean of course samsung is one of the most popular phone in africa here so you definitely have heard of the fold 5 or the flip 5 or i've seen it before but it's just like it's expensive it's crazy crazy expensive it's not like buy this phone if you want to buy this phone, it means maybe you have something, you have an agenda behind. Yeah, maybe you are going to use it for content creation or something. You know, you have a purpose for that phone. You just can't buy that phone and not use it for anything unless you are rich. Yeah. And another rumble mention will definitely have to go to a techno phone. And to be specific, it's the Techno Phantom V Flip 5G. And this phone is really, really nice. I mean, it's real sleek. I mean, the color that it comes in is even mine most in the purple color. Oh my God, that color is really nice. And I think it's the only flip phone that is going toe to toe with the Samsung Z Flip 5. I mean, I don't really know of any other flip company, flip phones that are, you know, going toe to toe with the Samsung flip phones. And I mean, the job that Techno put in this phone is really, really good. Big ups to Techno. They really did a good job in this flip phone. I mean, if you see the design, everything on the phone is on point. It might even, it might, it might even overthrow the Z Flip 5. Because to be, to be honest with everyone, the Z Flip 5 is the best flip phone we have in the market now. And it's competitive. I don't really see what they're doing. Apart from Techno that is really pushing it. I don't really know of any other flip phones that also, you know, hits in the competition. But Techno really did a great job on their Phantom V flip phone. I mean, it's really, really nice. So finally, let's talk about the best phone that came out in 2023. And first on this list definitely has to go to the iPhone 15 series. I mean, people are complaining that it still look like the 14 Pro Max or the 14 series. But in my opinion, I don't see anything wrong with them doing the same thing. Because what will you expect? Do you want them to make a different phone that you haven't seen before? Or make the same phone and fix the problems? I mean, just think of it. You have a phone that everyone loves. Would you rather make another phone that isn't new to the market? Or just advance on that phone? Make that phone better? Because people already love the phone. So... What it did is uh, just fix the problem that people were complaining with. Oh, maybe they had screen issues, camera issues. They just fixed that in their next model that they released. And I think there's nothing wrong because probably Samsung may also be doing the same thing. Of course, their S24 series, you know, their flagships are coming out. I think it will be coming out probably very, very soon. It will be coming out. Let, let me just put it at that. It will be coming out very, very soon. And you would see that they also bring out the same thing. I mean, you see that the S23 Ultra will definitely look like the S24 Ultra. I mean, it's good to bring a phone that people already love and just fix the, the problems that are with it. Rather than bringing an entire new phone that you have to create another different market for. I mean, that is that is real hectic stuff. Yeah. So you people should stop trolling iPhones for bringing the same design. I mean, people are saying from the 13 series to the 15 series. All of them are looking the same. And as I'm telling you now, it, it is not a bad thing that he did it like that. I mean, it is never a bad thing because people already love those phones. I mean, people are going head over heels for those phones. So it is just best to just bring the same phone and improve on the problems that they were complaining of. Because in the 15 series, you will see there's finally USB-C. I mean, 
it's, it's a good thing, right? So you, you get what I'm trying to say. So on my pick, the iPhone 15 series was one of the best phones that were released in 2023. And next up definitely has to go to the Samsung Galaxy like S23 series. And this, this specifically also goes to the S23 Ultra, which can swing to the moon. Yeah, I'll definitely be making a video on that on how you can also use your iPhone probably to zoom to the moon. But it's a really, really good feature. I mean, they really, really did well enough for enough phone. It's by far one of the best Android phones we have from that year. It's it's a really, really good phone. And it's also expensive. So this is for the rich. I mean, if you're really, really rich and you want to buy a good Android phone, you should definitely consider the S23 Ultra. That phone is really good. Good value for money. You guys should consider that. I'm talking to the rich people. You should consider the S23 Ultra in your list of phones to buy. Yeah. And as I said, the S24 is also coming out this year. And 2024, one of the phones that we are supposed to expect is the S24 series. So if you don't want to rush into things, you can wait for the S24 to come up. But just bear in mind that it is definitely going to be a lot expensive than the S23. And the S23 is not a bad phone. It's still a good phone to use in 2024 or 2025. Years to come, that phone is still a good phone. So if you don't want to buy the S24, I'm still talking to the rich people. If you don't want to buy the S24, you, should, you can just branch to buy the S23. Yeah. And 2023 was a year in which AI was really, really dominant. And one of the full companies that made good use of this AI feature was Google Pixel. I mean, the Google Pixel 8 flagships that came out, all of them came with AI features. You no. Know, magic eraser like the, the features were really really crazy they really made good use of ai in that phone so that is one of my pick for the best phones of 2023 the google pixel and again it's quite expensive no one not that's why google pixel phones aren't really dominant in african countries it's not like can't buy it too it's not like can't buy it but it's it's expensive putting all things aside it's expensive but it is one of the best android phones to buy so if you are rich, I'm talking to the rich people again, if you are rich, you should, considering the S23 Ultra side, you should definitely add Google Pixel to it. Because Google Pixel is like, for my recommendation, it's one of the best Android phones you can get in terms of picture quality, video quality, you know, in terms of use of AI. I mean, this phone is really, really good. Yeah. But the problem is it's expensive, so the rich people are big, you know that, that. Yeah. And another honorable mention has to go to the Nothing Phone 2. Another phone that isn't dominant in Africa. But it, it has, it, there's a reason for that because the Phone 2 is a new phone that has come to the market and it's now spreading its wings. So I think the years to come, I mean, maybe two to three years to come, we would have a Nothing Phone that will be shipping to Africa. I don't know whether people are buying it in Africa. I've not seen that phone before, but it's not dominant. I mean, if your phone is dominant, you would see it. So the Nathan phone is a really, really, it's also a good phone. I mean, it's a new phone in the market and it's really, really making waves. So you should definitely expect this type of phones to maybe four years, five years to come. You should expect these phones to be released in some African countries. But if you, you know, personally want to get your hands on a really, really good Android phone, you can also consider the Nothing Phone 2 because I think the price is better. Comparing it to the S23 and the Google Pixel 8, the price is a bit better. And I mean, it also comes with some cool ambient lighting. I mean, price, price that's when you're charging your phone. There's an LED light that displays, you know, the level of charge and the speed, the battery capacity. I mean, this phone is one of the top tier Android phones that out there. Yeah. Okay, this, this one, yeah, it's, not, it's not for only the rich. I think we the average can also buy so the the rich and the average if you are looking for another best android phone of 2023 i mean this phone can be used in decades to come so uh, the average people and the rich people you can definitely add this to your list so yeah that is that for some of the best phones of 2023 in my opinion because i mean lots and lots of phones came out that year but th these are some of the phones that stood out to me and Shout out to all the phone companies that, you know, released their phones, released phones, you know, some of the flagships of 2023 because they did really, really well. I mean, I couldn't mention every phone company, but if you're a phone company that released a phone 
last year you did really really well yeah i mean it's not easy to make it home so thank you for watching like and subscribe for more tech contents like this and i'll catch you in the next one adios peace i'm out